Hi, my name is Michael Shea. I'm the owner and director of Shea Educational Group, and I teach along with Valerie Gore, my education director, and several other of my teachers in training, uh, the basic foundation series in biodynamic cranial sacral therapy, and also advanced classes all over Europe and North America. And I'd like to do a very short series of talks to describe the basic biodynamic process of orienting, synchronizing, attuning, disengagement, and ignition. Now, this is a five-step process, and it's the same process no matter what hand position you're using, um, what client you're with, whether it's the beginning, the middle, or the end of a session. So this five-step biodynamic process is exceedingly important, and we've worked this out over a period of time, and it seems to be the most valuable way of working with your perception. Because biodynamic cranial sacral therapy is often defined as the creative application of a set of principles. And these are the first five principles that we teach from level one all the way up through the advanced training. So what I'd like to do now is just take a couple minutes and go over uh, the basic sense of the first principle, orienting, okay? Now, when we orient, I'm going to shift around a little bit because when we orient, we begin to orient to a still posture. So that's the first aspect of orienting. You're sitting with a client. You want to begin to, to orient your body, your state of mind, the movement of your thoughts, uh, your breathing, the inner awareness of your body. Begin to orient to your body and to becoming still. First step. The second step, after you become still and you're just settled, is you begin to do a body scan. And you begin to get a sense of your body three-dimensionally. So that takes some time, because you do a body scan from your feet up to your head, and you'll run into different things, different aspects of your body. And then, as you begin to work with settling and relaxing, you begin to sense the surface of your skin. And you just work on establishing a three-dimensional shape. A three-dimensional shape from the top of your head down to the bottom of your feet. And this shape is right at the surface of your skin, all over your body. And then you begin to pay attention, third part, of just orienting to the fluid, buoyant nature of the inside of your body. It's as if all the muscles, all the bones, all the organs were just made of fluid and you were buoyant and you've got this ocean inside of your body. So you begin to orient to the inner ocean. And then the next step of orienting is orienting to the outer ocean. So there's an ocean outside and it's on the surface of your skin. It feels like air. It feels like your clothes. And you begin to orient to that shape that's defined by the sensation on the outer surface of your skin and the shape and the sensation of what's on the inner surface of your skin, okay? And the last aspect of orienting is we begin to orient to the movement of our heart. So I gradually want to get a sense of my heart, sometimes the way the heart is moving the blood through my chest and my body and just get a sense of orienting to my heart. So those are the basic, very basic skills called orienting.